good morning guys um so this is how we'll be doing lessons for the short term is i'll be kind of talking over all the um powerpoints and everything that we need to do okay um obviously i've just sent a big email with everything so hopefully everything makes sense if not just get onto that microsoft teams and be in contact or email me okay and we'll crack on as normal for the for the time being until we know more Obviously, we are due to have an exam, which they say are cancelled, but as your year ones, they could delay that and make you do it a bit later in the, like in the year, at the beginning of the second year. We just don't know. So until we know different, we've, we've, we do just got to crack on. Okay, so um, I will also send you a plan of the next kind of couple of weeks lessons by the end of the week as well. So we'll kind of know what we're doing, but you should all know, well, those of you who are here, on Tuesday and, and all those who had emailed we have a test on Monday that is still going ahead okay so we got today and tomorrow to start doing some prep work for it okay so that's kind of the main focus of these two sessions so first of all I know this isn't the best way to give feedback but those of you who kind of sent me your work you can kind of see what I thought of it um, some really good stuff some of you had some blanks and so make sure you get that in if you hadn't given it to me can you scan it in so i can see it or take a quick picture the pictures are quite hard to read but i want to see that you've kind of done it okay um so some really good stuff i was really really happy reading those on tuesday night so thank you um so um the next slide slides are all about the test on tuesday okay so there are Four things that you, you need to be able to know and be able to show that you know in the, in the test on Tuesday. So the first thing is you'll get questions about describing the theory, then applying the theory, and then evaluating it, but quite often it links it to effectiveness. I'll talk about that more shortly. And then obviously the policies link in. So remember the test is on the sociological theories. So the first type of questions are describe or explain the theory. So these are kind of two past paper questions oh, big picture i think you can get questions up to six on this okay so it is pretty a pretty straightforward kind of question is always think we've got a little over a mark a minute so for that second question if it's a full marker you've got five or so minutes to describe the theory you need to focus on using the correct terminology that's what we need to see so put that in please um, and if you can ever kind of give like made up examples of oh this could explain that crime that is even better okay um, the second question is applying the theory so we've done at least one of these in class so these kind of that's kind of an example so explain how one theory of criminality could be applied to the scenario so there are two things you have to do two two okay first of all you have to describe the theory still okay so i think the question we did was about the social learning theory so you would need to kind of say so people could copy role models and they say this could be seen in tony's situation because his mother also did this crime okay so you need to describe the theory and then link it to the scenario so there's two bits um as you can see questions are like six or so marks so you'd have to do this at least twice um but three times but again always remember mark a minute so kind of use your kind of common sense there the third type of the question is probably the hardest one and this is the strengths and weaknesses questions these are generally longer questions um so this is the skill that we we, we, we were kind of just about to start developing okay so it means strengths and weaknesses so you've got strengths and weaknesses of all the theories in this question if it is a nine marker you would need to make at least three points and explain them so those p paragraphs okay if it's a six mark you need to do two okay so again common sense but always think two three marks for each point made if you can link it to the example that would be amazing or, or the scenario so if it said something about someone was poor you could say oh, a weakness of most sociological theories is that it overestimates that poor people will commit crime so just because x tony in a scenario is poor it doesn't mean he, he's going to be committing crime for that reason so if you can do that it just makes your answer even better okay um and last thing if the question says effectiveness okay effective effectiveness means how good is it 
So you need to say this makes us up the theory not as good. Okay, so I'll be looking for that as well. And then lastly, we have policies linking to theory. So, for example, assess one crime control policy developed from individualistic theories or assess how biological theories. So they're past paper questions. Obviously, we're just going to be looking at the sociological ones. So for this, just remember, if it says assess, assess means are they any good? OK, so, for example, if you're saying there was like graffiti in a in a village and you start talking about the death penalty, you would kind of say that probably isn't an effective method for stopping graffiti. OK, um, so that's what it kind of means is like how suitable would they be? So in these questions, describe the policy and also state the strengths and weaknesses. But again, link it to the scenario as well. OK. That is always going to help it. Remember, it's an applied subject. So they are the types of questions that are going to come up in your test on Tuesday. OK, um, so what I would like you to do. OK, there's like six things that you can do to prepare for this test. OK, you've got today. From nine to half ten lesson and tomorrow's one o'clock till half two lesson to spend some good time revising for this test it does matter okay um, if, if we are basing things on pre predicted grades okay the better your work is throughout the year and on this test if we have to do new assessments I've got more good information to kind of use okay so please take this seriously okay so um, I think it's very self-explanatory what's on here. Um, point number six, um, let's talk about an A3 grid, so I'll, uh, I'll put that over. Um, number five looks at being able to apply scenarios. So if you've got any questions, get on Microsoft Teams today at nine o'clock from half ten. I'm on it all the time, so I'll be there to help you. If you get bored over the next couple of days, there's a good kind of talk to listen to. Um, about how life can just lead you to, to, to crime so that's kind of some extra stuff for those of you who want to do more okay like I say any questions get on Microsoft Teams and we'll, we can live blog and talk to each other okay right see you soon guys